Right, it's David here from Windows Delivered and we're here today to show you how to uh, install a PVC sash window. Um, first of all, um, we had to prepare the room, um, we've got dust sheets down everywhere, um, it's really a dusty job, you can see we've made an effort to cover everything um, and we've used plastic sheets, uh, which are really important over um, things you really don't want to get dusty. Um, this is the window we're going to take out, um, very important that you do measure the window before you start um, to make sure the one you're going to put in will actually fit. Um, I've done that already, I've checked it, perfect width, perfect height, um, so that's ready to go. Um, we're going to need a number of tools to do that. Um, so over here, I, I use a pair of snips, you could use a standing knife, but we will need to cut, cut the ropes, which are up here, and um, they have the, the weights inside. Okay, um, you're going to need some kind of bar, to rip out, I prefer this kind of bar, um, it just gets into those, those nooks and crannies nice and easy, you might prefer a more traditional crowbar. Um, you're going to need a hammer, um, you're going to need a standing knife because we're actually going to want to cut around the edge of the window to make sure that when we take off this architrave we get a nice clean line down there. Um, we're going to need PPE, I've got my steel tape caps on, they also have uh, anti-pierce sole. Um, going to wear some goggles um, and the most important thing I feel is to wear a dust mask because it will be very dusty um, and I've also got my gloves and that's it so uh, now let's get on and rip out this window. Now we're going to fit the side sections to the window to offer it support and, um, and something good to fit into. So we use a 2x4 town vice timber. Um, we're going to cut it to length from here to the top lintel. They're made of wood, so we're going to just screw it straight into those. Um, so first I'm going to make So I'm just going to look at the bottom of the sill here just to show you a really good tip is, uh, is one, the packers have to be at the end below the upright part of the window um, to, to avoid bowing the sill section which can easily be bowed if you have packers in the middle. Then we also leave this gap. You might think, well, why would you leave that gap? Well, we don't want to be putting any screws down through the sill section. So what we do is, is we leave this gap here and later on we can put the builder's foam in there and um, pack the sash. So as it dries, we'll make sure that stays absolutely straight and that will be solid for 
years because if you try to put that straight onto the onto the wood onto the wood or the stone sill there you'll find it will move around it will creak it will make noises and it won't sound particularly good or be able to be particularly weather tight um, so best leave this gap and we can sort that out So um, we've installed the window net, we've made sure that it's level, we've made sure that it's plumb, uh, we've made sure it's not behind the wall because we want to be able to finish it off for those sticking here in front. Uh, we sorted out any bows that are happening in the frame, uh, we also had a bow in the head, uh, we showed you how to fix that as well. Um, and now what we need to do is, is actually foam the window up um, because the four fixings are only in the corners and it's not going to be enough to hold that window steady for its whole life. So we're going to foam the window all around. Need to put in these packets. This is an essential part of, uh, of fitting uh, the sash window. So, uh, double under here, which is four millimeters in the middle. That's probably the most important section to, to do it in. Nice and tight up. Close the finish fastener. And so we've installed the window, we've got our packers in, ready for foaming. Um, and what we need, we need some water spray, uh, we need to spray this around the window uh, before, we, before we do the foaming, because that's going to help it go off. Spray just like that all the way around. And the other gun is uh, a professional grade one, uh, which we must use. Um, if you're going to use a straw type one, you're just not going to have enough control over the foam and how you're going to get it in there and how much is in there, because we need to put in as little as possible, but enough. Okay, so I've um, I fitted the window and now I'm ready to fit my internal nosing. Um, this particular one is the uh, is the flush sill um, version of the of the window, and for that we're going to use a nosing that has a step in it, like this, so it actually fits into that groove. Um, I've decided how long I want it to be. Um, I've measured it end to end, found out where my centre is, and put a mark, and then I've measured the window and uh, I've put a, a mark in the centre on that one as well. Now I'm ready to test it, we'll just slide it in and just check that that's, that's where we want to be. Yeah, that's great. So now I've done that, I'm going to apply some super glue and I want to apply it to this back edge, all the way 
way down here. Now this edge won't touch, so you don't bother about that edge, but we do need to put it on this top edge. Now just be careful, but make sure you, you keep it very close to the edge, so it doesn't squish out when we put it in there. So we're just going to run it the long way like that. We're going to get our activator, spray them along, make sure we find our marks nicely before we push it up. Now we're going to push it up into position, make sure we're nice and square, and that that is pushed in nicely. And we'll just leave that for a few seconds. And now we're solid. Still fixed. So, um, so we're going to finish the inside of the window now. Uh, this is one of the side strips we're going to stick on. Um, I use a 6mm MVF that we've already pre-painted and um, we'll give it a final coat once it's installed. But for now we're going to stick it on here so it decide how high and how much coat we want. I'm actually going to cover up most of the PVC because once this is done it's going to give it a very traditional look. You could also use PVC trims for this um, and you could also be more of a window showing um, like that. It just depends on your preference. Um, I like to do it like this. Turn slowly if I that goes on there. I'm going to pop some super glue on. And we're going to end up with a lovely finish. We're going to just pop a bit of sandpaper over this corner in a little while and, uh, and we'll fill this gap and we'll paint it.